Uh, and that's what a test is for brand new one. They're only supposed to be 38 for used, but we do, we keep that standard for brand new. So where does the, uh, okay, voltage comes in through, yep. through there, and then that's ground yep. up there? Because that first engine will stop it. Hang on. And that's what you guys are using. John, watch it. Yeah, let's watch her come on. Which is the most important part. And the way we're doing this before. So the voltage will ramp up here, and then here it'll hold it for a minute. On a brand new one, we do it for a three minute acceptance test. Once it gets up the voltage on the middle one, then it'll ramp. Yeah, can you tell which section fails if it fails, or just you can yeah, tell exactly which section it? We have to watch it. Okay. No, we just take the new switch, and there's a mechanism that the bar goes. That won't go until it kicks out, eh? It'll just go to the hundred and shut down. But for us, this well, it's actually fifty. We put fifty on. Or fifty because of the six inches. Yeah. Yeah. Up to no, 50, 50 now it starts down from a minute. Okay. Does it show the leakage current at all? Or? Yeah, right down the Just line. Just right here, okay. And the machine itself, there's not such a thing as a perfect insulator. It's got 150 leakage without a stick in it. So you have to subtract that off. Oh, okay. 150 microamps? Yep. Yeah. Uh, six foot sticks are only around 500. Some of them do 27 year old. Yes, sir. So the stuff that you guys comb the stick again after? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a two two piece gloss. But it's the same idea as you wax your tire and you want it to be, because if not, the water will crack, make path, and yeah. you get like you have to beat like that. So the gloss is just for me. Made that's finished. Yeah. Yeah. And it's from the manufacturer. Yeah, chance. Built makes that for the we clean them with moisture eater, clean all the dirt off and then do a new finish to them every few years. You refinish all of them every few years? Yeah. Except for the ones that are scattered. See, the these, ch ch these chance sticks, Martin and I have been to all those factories. These chance sticks, they form the fiber and the styrofoam and then wrap the fiberglass around it so there's no Rock air foams. Foam. Yeah, foams inside to keep the moisture out. The yellow sticks, I won't, I won't mention the name. <laughs> they're right there in the corner. <laughs> they, they form the fiberglass, blow the styrofoam in, so you could have an air void six inches or eight inches long. Well, so that's the very best if it's cold and dry. So once that's done, is it, do you have to uh, no, just, short it out or anything and just grab it? or? No, it, it drains down. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir.